guys, welcome back to another Wheel of Time Wednesday. If I sound a little annoyed, it's because I lost the voiceover for this and had to redo it. But anyways, today we are working on Rena. Rena is portrayed by a non-binary actor, but because Rena is a female character, I'm going to use female pronouns. Now, Rena is part of the Shan Chan Empire. I'm going to try not to spoil too much, but it's kind of hard not to. And at this point, it's, the show's been out enough that it's okay, but... In the books and in the show, she definitely has a different role to play and a different path for sure. But I think for those two separate things, what was done with her was correct. Like I know people get on the show for making changes, but when it comes to like TV shows, sometimes you have to make those changes because the way that people watch a TV show is not the way that people read a book. And Wheel of Time has so many characters. It has so many characters. They all have similar names. It's It can be a challenge even for someone who loves the books and has read them multiple times to remember, oh wait, who is that? Wait, who, what? How many characters have S-E in there? Like, you just get thrown off. So I think that they made the right choice. Uh, as far as recreating The Sim, I did run into problems obviously with the makeup, the hair, the costumes as well. I just, no one has created those for The Sims too. I doubt that they will. I did my best. I actually had a like, pigtail braid hair that would have been a little bit better. It was a little more uniform. It was like by rayon or something. Uh, turns out I didn't have it installed. <laughs> so I looked for it for about an hour and a half. And then I was annoyed. So I was just like, fine, forget it. This one's will do. Because her actual hair is like four braids. You just don't see the other ones because they're behind her. So this is as close as we're going to get. Uh, I just have to say I love the costumes of Wheel of Time an unholy amount. Like, I could just gush about them constantly because they're so good. The Shanshan in particular, I love how colorful they are and that they didn't shy away from that. They haven't shied away from it really at all in the series, whereas a lot of fantasy series, especially more modern ones like Rings of Power, just get really boring. It's very neutral earth tones. And I'm like, don't be afraid of color. That color existed way back in the day, if you really want to go there, from natural dyes. Like, why be boring when that's not even accurate? So I'm glad they went there. I'm glad that they went wild and crazy and they do look like insects. I was just floored. And the fact that Rings of Power has such a huge budget and their costumes I don't want to say suck so bad because it's that's that's a mean thing to say and i understand a lot more goes into it than just the costume designer getting to do what they do best a lot of times they don't get to make decisions they get overruled it's unfair but they didn't do that to the wheel of time costume designer and i'm so glad because we got some amazing looks not just the sean jen but like the forsaken's clothes oh i know i already talked about it but like i'm still obsessed now as far as rena is concerned kind of a difficult face, I will say. Like, I actually had to look at pictures of the actor because with the heavy makeup, it's really hard to determine what certain facial features actually look like because Rena as a character looks like she has gigantic eyes, but they're not actually, actually that big. It's the makeup. Like, I didn't even have big enough black eyeshadow to really do her justice. And so I did my best. I think she turned out pretty cute. I'm happy with her. I don't know if I'll use her in anything, but I might. You never know. And yeah, overall, I'm just, I'm so happy with the costumes. <laughs> I'm just thinking about them still. But anyways, if you like this video, please do give it a like and I will see you in the next one.